Today, I was having a scroll down the TikTok, and I found a nice little shop, and he introduced me to a brand new game. That, I'd say a brand new game from 2002. A game that I've never heard of before. Auto Modelista. 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 You can laugh about TikTok all you like. You could be like, oh, it's rubbish, it's rubbish. I was the same. But then it's introducing me to things like this. I also bought a 300 pound bloody robot on there. I know, it's incredible. So, we have got this classic JDM-based Japanese racing game from Capcom. So, this is where you can create a garage. Now, I've not seen much of this game. I saw a, little, a couple of clips online because I thought, oh, it looks, it looks weeby. Perfect for me. But you can create your own garage. Now, it's a shame that I can't actually use a full-size keyboard here. Oh, this is the worst keyboard I've ever seen. Actually, I take it back. This is quite useful, to be honest with you. So, it looks like we get to choose from three different types of garage. Garage. Number two looks the best. And now we get to select a bloody car. I don't know why we get to select a car this early on. There's a secret. I'm going to go for Nissan. I'm going to be really, I'm going to really, really obvious and go with an R34. Just have a look and see what other cars are available in this game. There's quite a lot of Japanese mobiles, which is why, of course, I've called it a JDM. It's very much a Japanese game. Once we jump into the gameplay, you'll definitely see that. But we've got some Evos. Of course we have. We've got Subarus. Oh, beautiful, baby. We got RX-7s, RX-8s. Wait, is it RX-8 Concept? Look at that. It's that old. Enter the name for your new car. It's like Pokemon, but I'm going to call it R34 GT. Oh, I don't want to change the name. Okay. Jeff. Of course we have to. We, we <laughs> enter license plate number. Oh, we got to do it. Wait, Je can Jeff fit again? All right, here we are in the pants garage. Now, something super, super cool that I have seen. You can go to garage design and we can actually change everything about this. You can add and move and scrap items. So you can customize your garage to be perfect for you. You can add posters if you want. We've got posters. Oh, we actually have to unlock these posters, which pretty cool. I want more games to have this type of feature. Let's go for Michelin in the back there. Oh, yeah, let's put that on the wall right there. Look at that. That's so cool. More games need stuff like that. The, the, te the quality of these images is so low. We got a shelf here that we can put in the background. I'm actually going to put it right in front of where the Michelin's like. I'm going to put it to the side, actually. I, I wish more games had stuff like this. This is su such a Japanese game. Like, it's so clearly, obviously, Japanese. Can I actually rotate it? Oh, I can only rotate it fully. I'm going to put him there. I think we've used all our flora. Nope. We got a toolbox. Can we put it on top of things? Oh, you can. This is a lads Animal Crossing. You see the Animal Crossing? It's a good game. But car Animal Crossing? I think yes. See, I could play this all day. I genuinely, I could just... Oh, mate. <laughs> I'm so happy with this. I'm so happy I found this game. We haven't even got into the actual gameplay. We're just building a garage for the hell of it. This is not what you're here for. You're here to see what the gameplay is like. Because you've seen the thumbnail. And yes, I promise you, it does look like that. Oh, we can go to camera mode as well. Can we zoom? Right analog stick to zoom. We can zoom in. This is awesome. I love Japan. If you scroll through my TikTok, it's literally Japanese cars, Japanese people... <laughs> Japanese culture and what not to do. Basically, I'm in Japan on my phone for some reason. The music sounds just Gran turismo we but hip. It sounds very Gran turismo -y. It sounds Japanese! So we've got tuning of cars. We can tune it up, dress up the car by adding aero parts. Dress up! This is Animal Crossing with cars! We could put... Uh, was it change body design? Let's do that. So if we go through, we've got a couple of options, which add some stripes to it. We're dressing up a car. This is literally Boys Animal Crossing. I love this. So we've got hoods and mirrors. I'm actually going to switch over here so you can actually see me put them on. Here we go. We've got some wing mirrors to apply to the side. I like the stock wing mirror, so that's what we're going to stick with. We've got hood options, which we can go through. And there are actually some officially licensed parts in here. That is pretty sweet. I'm actually going to put those on. We've got front bumper customization. Oh, mate. I was hoping that we would have something... Uh, Z-tune, because that's what I always do, but we'll take you, we'll take as is. Do we have any wangs available? Oh, yes, we do. <laughs> we got some wangs. We got a secret wang and nothing. We can actually remove the wang if you want to. I'm pretty sure people were happy about that back in the day. So do we have any Nismo wheels? I mean, I'm going to take these. They look pretty close to what I would put on. So it's exactly what I'm going to put ad vans on. We got like, we got like, oh, yes. 
We got the, I need some of those to be honest with you. If you find them on eBay, let me know. Wait, you can respray each body part individually. Some current games don't even allow that still. Oh, and it's got a vinyl editor. And it's a shame that I am not creative at all. We can also do tires, brakes, suspension, turbo setups, turbine, should we say? And it actually tells you how much power it currently has and how much it'll have once you actually start upping the boost. Let's go for the full turbine. I want the most power, HKS all the time, exhaust system. So this, I imagine, is the career progression. We got level one, so let's jump into that. Oh, we've got three challenges to go. We've got the U uh, US Speedway. Let's go for you. So no progression as such, because I've just put all some really good bits on, but maybe... The progression is your mind. It's fine. We're going to properly go for it now. So this straight away. What does this look like? Come on. This looks like an anime. And I like the art style is just so... <laughs> the sound as well actually sounds pretty accurate. Excuse me, fellas. Things to smash through, which means you. So the handling model, I'm not going to lie. I have had a little bit of a play already. Bit of backfire. It's a little bit odd. Uh, I was driving a front-wheel drive car earlier, and even the Supra earlier. And it is... It's a little bit odd to get used to. So, in normal racing game terms, it's not as sensitive. You can see that I'm constantly... Oh! I'm gonna start that again. Okay, I now have to, turn, I have to change gear now. I have to manually shift it to reverse. We're on automatic for now, because I didn't know the buttons, but it's the L1R1, which is just... That's perfect. That's what you want for the manual shifting, especially when A is accelerate on these old games, or X, depending on what platform you're on. But this game is, it's just weep paradise. So it feels a little bit odd, as I said, it's definitely a 3D game, but it doesn't kind of look it in some, sometimes it looks like a 2.5D game. It, it's just super timeless though. It looks fantastic. We got these proper Japanese downhill events. That's just awesome. It, it's. It's, honestly, this is what, if people remember this game, if people actually played this game when they were growing up or whatever, this is what they probably remember. This is what they want from a game like this. And the fact that it does it with just these anime effects, the over-the-top drifting, it's basically, it reminds me of Need for Speed and Gran Turismo having a baby and Borderlands directors doing the art style because it's got the cell shading, which is very much a Borderlands thing nowadays, which makes it just timeless because you could play this in 20 years time and it would still look pretty good how dare you i do have to say the downhill i much prefer than going uphill uphill is actually quite difficult because you lose momentum quite a lot because <laughs> collisions with people quite interesting it feels like it speeds you up to be honest i've messed that up on site all right though because i beat the r32 r30 poo more like in the bin third place i mean it's better, than, it's better than nothing. Of course, we get a replay as well because it's an old game and old games with replays always happen to be the case. But look at this game. It just looks so good. I could watch a, a, a movie about this. It just looks so good. I'm obsessed with it. It's so, it just, it's so Japanese. Quite frankly, that's the best way I can explain this. Oh, I got some mail. Very nice. Is this some, uh, is this the progression? What do we unlock for? doing that how do i open my mail right there obviously we've got tuning driving skills others i got a lot of mail apparently oh my goodness of course if you want a quick play you can do that as well so we've got the east tokyo fine east tokyo with rain i imagine that's what e is right and then we've got us dirt track just in case us speedway suzuka if you want to as well i'm actually i'm quite tempted to go for some rain on this event right here so then you can choose from various cars let's have a look in here as well sweet they've got an is 200 come on come on of course they've got an is 200 i'm gonna go for the yellow it is east tokyo i told you i knew it so the handling does change in the rain i have heard that it's realized that most people here and oh no I, I thought there were two other is 200s these guys are flowing off why am I being left behind? And this feels pretty weird already. I can definitely feel the effect of the rain. He's right in my butt. Please go away. Slam on the brakes. I didn't realize how quick I was actually going. I'm already in last place. Definitely need to put more dead zone on this controller because I am just swaying everywhere. 
she wants to slide, but I kind of don't want to let her because I probably will crash and burn. Oh, yeah, I'm catching up to you. You is dead. Look at the speed of man on his way in the stock. I didn't, it's not actually stock. I did do the auto upgrade. That, excuse me. I do really want to try customizing some more cars, though. Let's be real. Like, I want to see some of the parts available for, like, the Supra. Are we going to pass the other IS-200? I should hope so. The I AI IS-200? That should be a long gone. Oh, lost all my speed. There's first place. That's not taking long, actually. But uh, skillful driving. And I'm ahead already. Even, like, the light effects behind in the rain, they just look so anime. <laughs> They're right on my bum. They're going to try and pass me right at the end. Oh, no, he's messed it up. No. <laughs> it's all right. I'm going to pass him again. <laughs> We're now going to do some Supra customization. Play around with the soup de la soup just a little bit. The A80 Supra. Very nice. Now, I'm hoping there's some going to be some nice bumpers for this car. Because this has got one bumper. They've all got pretty much the same parts. It's like one part manufacturer in this game. Of course, I'm going to accept it. It doesn't need to be the focal point. But I'm glad that they actually have the customization in this game. Because a game like this, normally, I would feel like just wouldn't have it. Maybe a different variance. Oh, look at that wing there. The secret wang. I want it. We'll go for you again. We've got light customization, which again is the eyelids. Let's give it one more go in a Supra. I must win. I must win. Let's get it, baby. Let's see what this sounds like. It sounds like a gust of wind. It sounds just like the, the new Supra. It sounds more suppressed than the new Supra, which I didn't think was actually possible, to be honest with you. Oh, look at this, man. In my way, I'm in a bush. And I can't see. I can actually look behind with that button. Oh, there's changing the camera view. So you can actually get like a nice hood view, which properly gives you like a downhill speedy experience. I'm actually going to switch back to this. I like to see my whip. I like to see what I'm doing. It's just constantly trying to drift, trying to turn as little as possible. The backfire noise. <laughs> the effect is just so explosive. I, I love it. I love it. And is this fella, as you constantly drive, this fella's telling you how amazing you are while I'm spinning out on every single corner. The downhill and uphill, honestly, they're, they're actually quite difficult. What you have to do is you have to focus on where the wheels are pointing, which is a little bit different because normally in games, obviously, you, point is, you focus on where the steering wheel's pointing and they put a lot of smoothing in to kind of fix it. But the, where the wheels are pointing in this game, is super important but it's weird because i'm then going to be focusing on where my front wheels are pointing which is just it's a weird concept i have to follow it's so twitchy and then i get stuck like this why do you do this to me game so there you go if you want to check out the game yourself it's very easily available it's an old ps2 game i was running it on the emulator today so that's why it looked so good still to this day of course it still even looks good it's just cell shading super <laughs> i just rubbed the wall Right, thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure to smash like, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, peace.